Hello everyone and welcome to Classcraft. Now that you've seen what Classcraft can do for your classroom, let's get down into the details of how it works. Classcraft is a system of classroom rewards and punishments that help students manage each other's behavior and academic engagement. How does it do this? Each student has an avatar that represents him or her in the role of Classcraft. This avatar has health points, action points, experience points, and goal points. The teacher takes away health points, or HP, when students perform negative behaviors in class. If students get down to zero, there are consequences, which we'll talk about in a moment. Action points, which automatically regenerate over time, allow students to use powers in the classroom. These vary from being able to eat in class, to getting a hint on an exam question, to helping team members. These powers can be changed to meet your individual preferences as a teacher. The teacher awards experience points to reward good behavior. Once students have gained enough experience, they level up and can unlock new powers. Goal points are gained automatically when students level up. This allows them to buy clothing and armor to specialize the look of their avatar, but this has no effect on the actual game. Now, back to health points. When a student drops to zero health points, two things can happen. Number one, a teammate can use a power to save them if they're able to. Number two, the student falls in battle. This automatically results in a randomly selected punishment from a list that the teacher creates. This student's punishment is then recorded in the Book of Laments, a teacher record book, until they have completed their punishment. The student comes back to life, but only with one health point, which makes falling in battle again very possible. Next we're going to talk about avatar classes. There are three types of avatars. Warriors, healers, and mages. Each class has different powers and different levels of health points versus action points. Warriors have a lot of health points. This allows them to take a lot of damage for their classmates by using powers. But they have few action points, which means they can't use their powers as often. Mages have a lot of action points, so they can use their powers more often. These powers often give other players action points if they're low. However, the mages have very few health points and can die more easily in battle. Healers have medium levels of both action points and health points, and most of their powers focus on restoring health after they've been lost. This leads us to teams. Students just don't play by themselves, but work with teams of three to five students. This allows some players to be warriors and absorb damage for their team. Other students choose to be mages and add more action points to their team. Other students complete the team by becoming healers to restore health points to their teammates. Two things ensure that teams work together. Number one, collaborative powers. Some powers allow all students on the team to get benefits, such as all team members get a hint on an exam question. Thus, students want their team members to participate in class so they can level up and use those powers to benefit the team. Number two, falling in battle. Remember how if a player loses all of their health points, they fall in battle? Well, when one player on a team falls in battle, everyone else on that team loses 10 health points. If that drop in health points causes another team member to fall in battle, then everyone on the team loses another 10 health points, with the exception of the students who have just fallen and received a punishment. This chain can continue until all of the members of the team receive a punishment. Thus, if one student falls, they could all fall. Another feature that helps students stay engaged in Classcraft is the daily event. The daily event generates a random event from a list. These can be beneficial to students by giving the whole class, a team, or an avatar class such as all of the warriors, a reward 
such as extra action points, health points, or experience points. However, some events do exactly the opposite. It keeps the game interesting and builds excitement about the game. One of the best features about Classcraft is that almost everything is customizable. If you don't like a certain power, for example, eating in class, you can change it to whatever you would like. You can change events of the day, punishments, experience points needed to level up, and more. Most importantly, you can choose what to give experience points for, so you can encourage positive behaviors that you want. And you can choose what to take health points away for, so you can discourage negative behaviors of your choice. This allows you, as the teacher, to implement your normal classroom management system in a more engaging way, instead of forcing you to adjust to a new set of rules or management ideology. These are the basics of Classcraft. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of how this technology can transform your classroom. Good luck, and may you have many great adventures with your students.